In the galactic criminal justice system, the Jedi are considered the ultimate arbiters of peace throughout the galaxy and soldiers in the war against the Sith Army. These are their stories. Hello everyone and welcome back to Boater Play Something. We are playing Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and we are being asked to help the Metales with their feud against another... I think, yeah, I checked this one. This is where there were some Mandalorians. Uh, with their feud against the Sandals or something like that. So yeah, we're gonna go help this out. Well, I think I kind of know where this is going, actually, just because of having played before. But anyway, yes, we're gonna go help out the Metales if they deserve it. <laughs> I'm Boater. Let's play something. Okay, now can I say that I'm here on official Jedi business? This is private property. Um, I come on behalf of the Jedi Council. I wish to speak to Alan Matale. You have come from the Jedi Council. Master Matale wishes to speak with you. I will inform him that you are here. Remain at this location until he arrives. That's a lot of fucking hardware. That's a lot of fucking hardware. My protocol droid tells me you're here on behalf Bullshit. of the council. I was beginning to think my demands had been ignored. Though I think your time would be better spent interrogating the Sandals as to the whereabouts of my son Shen. You cannot accuse the Sandals without proof. Proof? How dare you talk to me about proof? More than enough to satisfy any reasonable person. And let me see it. Many years ago, I brought my family here to Dantooine to escape the crush of humanity on the core worlds. Soon after we settled here, the Sandrils arrived, and they have been a plague upon my Are house you just ever since. Nimbying all over? The injustices the Sandrils have committed against the Metales are far too numerous to name. But the Council is well aware of our many disputes. Recently, I discovered several Sandral droids trespassing on my land. And what were they doing? I have no idea what nefarious purpose lay behind their arrival. My own assassination, perhaps? Destruction of my property? Maybe a simple spy mission? I wasn't about to find out. My own security droids destroyed the invaders. Not a so single you destroyed one Sandral survived. property? Uh, no, I don't think the droids are very frightened, T3. It was shortly after this incident that Shen, my only son and heir to the Metali estate, vanished. Obviously, Nurik, the unscrupulous head of the Sandral clan, has abducted my son in retaliation for the destruction of his droids. And you are jumping to conclusions. Why does the Council insist on stalling? The life of my son is at stake. Is it possible? Yes, of course. Now I understand. I am a man of the world, Jedi. I know how things are done. I will make a contribution of a thousand credits to the Council in exchange for rescuing Shen from the Sandals. I will present the credits directly to you, of course. Whether the Council ever learns of this donation is completely up to you. Keep your money. Nevertheless, my offer still stands. A thousand credits for Shen's safe return. Know, however, that I will not sit idly by much longer. Eventually, I will take whatever action is necessary to rescue my son, including raising the entire Sandral estate. Until you find Shen, Jedi, we have nothing further to discuss. I suggest Jedi. you hurry south to their estate, lest I take matters into my own hands. The tally pass card required to enter.
I like how there's secure doors and then there's secure doors. No problem. Didn't work. Like the plot says, I cannot go in this door right now. Yes. What? Fine. We'll go to the Sandral Estate, but I want to search this building. That's not the way to. Damn it. Should have taken four speed. <laughs> This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? I come on behalf of the Jedi Council. The Council? If you are here because of Shen Matali's disappearance, you are wasting your time. The Sandals are not involved. This is nothing but a Matali witch hunt. I'm not in league with the Metallies, but I must speak to Nuri. Nuri left orders he was not to be disturbed, but given the circumstances, I will make an exception. Go into the main hall. Nuri will meet with you there. See, at least you didn't come out with four more... Battle droids in my face. I have been informed by my protocol droid that you wish to speak to me. Best look it out of the way. I'm here on behalf of the Jedi Council. I'm investigating the, the disappearance of Shen Matale. I brought my family here to find peace and safety. Not, not to be harassed and treated like, like common criminals. My God, the stutter. Your council has no authority here. And I respectfully ask you to leave this property at once. Jedi are renowned for their fairness in pursuit of justice. There is nothing to fear from us, unless you have something to hide. I trust you will show yourself out. If not, my security droids will be sure to deal with you. You are here from the Council, are you not? Looking for Shen Metale? Who the fuck are you? Do you know something about Shen's disappearance? My name is Rahasia. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. He is mad with grief, and he is convinced the Metales are responsible. He is not thinking rationally. And who is Cassus? Yes, Cassus was my brother. He was working on archaeological digs here in Dantooine when he disappeared. My father blamed Alan Metale and his son. Great. My father is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. Judge him? What has your father done? You must understand that father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him, but there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. Please tell me what has happened. My father has kidnapped Shen Matale. He is holding him prisoner here in the compound. He feels this is a way to get back at the Metales, a way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassus. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. No. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. He no longer even cares if the Metales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I am afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. Why are you telling me all this? Shen is an innocent victim in all this. My father is not a bad man, but his grief has driven him to madness. He must be stopped. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the rear of the estate. You and Shen can make your escape through there. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. 
What is the problem between your families? Alan Matale and my father have had problems ever since they settled on this world. To hear my father tell it, that Alan is a brute and a bully, but a rich one. He feels his credits give him the right to step all over normal people. My father stands up to Alan because no one else will. But now he thinks Alan has taken my brother Cassus and has imprisoned Shen as revenge. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. I was gonna ask why the uh, care for Shen, but that's a little on the obvious side. What would happen if I did tell the council? Like, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do this myself, but... I, huh? There used to be a droid guarding this. Oh, so this is that unguarded door, but it's not going to the rear. Back into the estate! Oh, and saving, too! Yay! I will not turn off subtitles. My viewers demand subtitles. Okay. Failure. What can I do? Sure. Huh. I gotta upgrade you. Uh, upgrade. Upgrade your demo there, little buddy. I wanna do like the Deus Ex thing. And... Yes, 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 I see it. This leads back out front. Non-family members are not permitted entrance from that room to this room. Sandral Wardroid. Well, at least you're not as overt about it on the outside. Security control room. been involved in kidnapping, I have no qualms about taking your stuff. Security room? Light scan visor, what's that do? Awareness plus four. Nice. That looks super silly. You're going back to my red in the translucent thing. Fairly positive we're not gonna see what's his face? Sandral around here. No. Um Oh, this one has a, the security room has a terminal in it, but not the security control room. Okay. This all makes perfect sense. Also, use droids a weak sauce. Call them security droids, maybe, and then you know they protect you from cath hounds, but these can't even do that. Um, 
Here you. Zero spikes! <laughs> North hallway. Not needed. South hallway. Not needed. Security computer room. Would be dumb. Central security room. Repair room. Don't need it. Storage room. Yeah, no, we don't need to do anything here. What can I do? Sure. Ooh. Experience for doing stuff with a faulty war droid, but I'm honestly not interested. Oh, I'm gonna do a experience. Nah. Yes? Not gonna waste the parts. Please find Shen and rescue him before my father does. There are many secure. Why do you care about Shen? Shen and I, we. Well, we have been taught by our families to hate each other, just for being related to our fathers. But I met Shen alone one day in this... And Shen was so charming, so sweet. We talked and met again over months and fell in love. My brother Cassus met him too, and they were beginning to become friends. But then this whole mess had to happen. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. Yes, yes, yes. Only hope, only hope. Uh, what did I not? Holding cell. God damn it. No problem. Got it. Who are you? What do you want with me? Are you, you working for my father? <laughs> I'm here to rescue, rescue you. Me. No, I won't leave. It's too dangerous. I'll protect you, let's go. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. She's been trying to convince her father to release me ever since I was captured. If I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. And how can I get you to come with me? If you can convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Basically, already has. I could imagine a Sandra doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali. But if she will not go, then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. You're an idiot. Thank you. I wish you luck. You're an idiot. Thank you. Tough love, man. Sometimes it's just gotta be told like it is. What are you doing here? Have you? I'm trying to rescue him, but he won't leave without you. Shen can be so stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering but the halls, you... father will get First suspicious. off, there's no security droids Can't left. Second off, you live here. I know Shen would rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will meet you. Uh. Eh. Oh, did I not get the other footlock? Oh, I did. It just that one closes all the way. The other one closes only partially. That's good times. You're back. Yeah, she promised to meet us outside the gate. Just telling me what I want to hear. Shen, you're safe. Rahasia. Well, thank goodness. 
as you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you have done for us. We should get out of here quickly. You're right. We should go as fast as we can. I don't know how long it will be before my father realizes we're gone. You're right. We should. There you are, Shen. Father! Mr. Matale! Rahesha! Father! Mr. Sandro! <laughs> Yurik! Alan! Janet! Dr. Scott! Janet! Ah! Rooker! Janet! Dr. Scott! Janet! Ah! Rooker! I knew this was all <laughs> your doing! I knew you had captured my son! You had taken my Cassus from me long before that. You started you it. You started it. I don't want to hear any of your excuses. Now I will get revenge for your transgressions. Enough! Please listen to You two to need him. to calm down. Why should I listen to the Jedi? All you want is to remain with that Sandral harlot. My daughter is not a harlot, Matale dog! Both of you, calm down! We are trying to be reasonable here, of course. We are sensible people, after all. But our children are being so stubborn. If Shen would just understand that he has to do what I want, this would all be solved easily. Shen is capable of making decisions on but his he own. he is my son! I don't want to lose him! And I won't let I my didn't daughter say go persuade, with him. But children grow up and leave eventually. My little Rahasia. Father. I, Father. I don't know why we fight like this. We got along in the beginning, didn't we, Alan? I don't know how you can think of that when we have our children trying to go away together. Well, it wouldn't be so bad, would it? Shen seems to genuinely care for my Rahasia. He might be a good husband for her someday. Hmm. As much as I may dislike it, I think I see it too. I knew you two could see reason. I suppose, I suppose I might be convinced to see that Sandral girl with my son, if she is loyal to him. But I don't trust you a centimeter farther, old man. Your daughter may treat Shen well, but you will never see them. They will live with me. Of course not, you pompous old windbag. They'll be living with me. They could stay at the Jedi Enclave. Of course not. My house is more than good enough. I will not have them set foot in a Sandral household. They shall not live with the Matales. I hope they turn then around. You propose to buy right. us a new house, do you? Oh, well, yes, actually. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. I'm surprised. That does sound like a good idea. <laughs> we should discuss this more. Thank Maybe you, not Master shouting Jedi, across the courtyard. For bringing us and getting our parents to accept us. We will praise you to the council for what you have done and name our children after you. Oh, Thank that's, you again. Uh, we will remember you always. Not as necessary. Yay. I guess I lost the pass card, whatever. Uh, so does this mean that I won't get to go into the Metale household? Maybe find out what the hell happened to Callus? Cass Cassus? I'm gonna check that real quick. Now may we pass? Master Metale is grateful to you for uniting Shen and Rahasia. He has sealed his estate while preparations are underway, however, and cannot see you. Fine. I'll have to look that up and see if that's something that we can actually visit. In the meantime... I have heard that the Sandrals and Matales 
have agreed to cooperation in the construction of a new estate to house their children. Apparently, a son of one family and the daughter of the other are getting married. I also hear that we have you to thank for this happy occurrence. I am glad that you are using the authority our order wields to achieve some measure of good. And that's it. Thanks, Chief. <laughs> Alright, guys, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I wasn't expecting to use that format again, uh, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I did while well, I was thinking of it as I was going, and I know I had fun editing it too. So, anyways, if you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter.com slash Bodubug and support me on Patreon.com slash Bodubug. Next episode, we will be continuing on the main storyline quest, going to those not burial mounds and seeing what Revan and Malik were all after. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a good one, and may the Force be with you.